Hi everyone, it's Saber D here, and we're back for part 9 of Let's Play The Legend of Kyrandia. Um, I usually like to start off my videos where we left off, but I decided to skip ahead to the Cascading Waterfall because I wanted to show you something first that you can do with the Rainbow Stone. Um, we see the rainbow here, so we can click the stone on the water, and we get a silver unicorn. I'd like to keep this. Cool! Well, so that's what the rainbow stone is for. It makes a silver unicorn. However, the silver unicorn isn't for anything else, so, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna pause it really quick and jump ahead. Ah, so we jumped ahead, and we're back in Xanthia's laboratory. Um, alright, so let's go back into the cellar. Cool. Um, alright, let's go. I'd swear some of these trees look just like the ones in our backyard. <laughs> There's a little meta joke for you guys, um, because obviously they use a lot of the same pictures for these areas, and so they had to poke fun at themselves for that. Okay, so now we're at the beach, and, um, yeah, so we had tried the orange potion, and it tasted like alfalfa, if you remember. And you, we stand here on the sun, and we have the pegasuses, um, and you think, oh, what do pegasus eat? Oh, they might eat alfalfa. <laughs> yeah, and we also don't need this stuff, so I'm just going to drop it off for now. Um, what we do need is, we need the iron key, uh, we need a flower, and we need the royal chalice. So let's try out the orange let's potion. Let's try this. Here goes. I feel kind of strange. Cool, so hopefully we don't get eaten by the whale. And it looks like we made it! Oh, that was wild! Wow! Okay, so if you notice, this little platform looks like the one we came from. But if you bring an extra orange potion, you actually can't use that platform to go back. So now we're stuck on the island. Oops! Almost walked off the edge there. <laughs> Okay, um, so there's a misty grave, and like I said, we needed to bring the flower, and we- William and Catherine. Hello, mother. Father. I wish I could do something to honor their memory. Yeah, so we needed a flower to put, to put on their grave to honor them, but we could use any flower, so the tulip or the orchid would do either, would do also. Alright, so let's put it on the grave. Baby, I knew you'd come. Mother? You have grown up, handsome son. You have your father's eyes. I use them only to seek your revenge. Control your anger, Brandon. You must free the Kyra gem to reclaim your throne. Malcolm is vile and deserves to die. Do not waste your powers on destruction, my son. You will require the royal chalice. And this. You have my gift. It is all I can give. Be brave, my son. And use your magic wisely. All right. Mother? Well, um, she mentioned we needed the royal chalice, so it's a good thing we have that. Goodbye, Mother. Um, can we put this? I don't want to put anything else on their graves. Yeah, the silver statuette doesn't really seem to be good for anything, but, um, it would have been neat if they added that and were maybe could put it on the grave or something. So, um, 
Yeah, I just wanted to show you those... Ah, uh, I'm stuck. Okay. Uh, there we go. Um, these two areas, because they look just like the other trees from back home, but the designers just made them all brown. <laughs> Alright, so let's go down here. Whoa, he's running fast. Um, okay, so we're at the gate of a castle Kyrandia. So let's save it. And um, if you notice here, this obviously needs a key. There is a keyhole. Oh no! Oh no! Wow, that is actually really gross. Um, okay, can you click on? Oh, whoa, that was close. Okay, so you can't click on them, and. Uh, but let's use the red power. So it turns you invisible. Thanks, Mom. Which uh, kind of makes sense because your mom's a ghost, so it makes sense that it would make you turn invisible like a ghost. But anyway, let's go inside. Wow, this is incredible. It's huge. Welcome, lad. I see you got past my puppies. You must be very clever. But since you've made it, you'll have to stay. You will not be able to leave this island. I have but two rules here in my home. Do not disturb my morning naps. And enter not the Kyra Vault. Move aside, you purple windbag. Now, now I've been patient. Can we not continue? Oh, and yes, a friend of yours now serves me here. Oh, Herman. Herman. Brandon is here. Hmm, I don't know where he is, but I'm sure that he'll find you. He really wants to return your saw. <laughs> what a fool. I can't wait to smack him. <laughs> okay, um, so we are inside the castle, and as you can tell, everything is kind of ruined. Like, there's cobwebs, and yeah, you can't seem to click on anything, but yeah. Oh, and like Malcolm said, Herman is back, um, so... Watch out, we have to watch out for him. Ooh, that makes brandy wine look good. Ha, um, so let's check out the fireplace. Oh. Ooh. So now we're in a dank dungeon passage. And uh, it's kind of like a maze back here, but it's not as, uh, um, it's not as bad as the cave that we were exploring earlier, I mean, there's no bad guys or anything. We don't need fire berries, fortunately. Um, but it's still kind of confusing. I th think this is the right way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Cool. Okay, so there is a green force field. Looks like some kind of magical force field. And it's blocking our way. Um, we can't go through. Looks like some kind of magical force field. So in order to stop the force field, we need to use this might work. The force. Here goes. All right, cool. And um, if we go this way, it's actually a dead end. So um, then we check out this way. And um, it's a dead end too, and we're thinking, well, what was the point of that? Why did we break the force field? But there's something actually right here. Um, this has to fit something. This probably isn't to the restroom. <laughs> and uh, like this thing is nothing else in there. Hard to notice. Um, like if you look at that brick, it's vaguely different from the other rooms, and you really have to be paying attention. Um, you could uh, rewind the video to see what I'm talking about, but yeah. Okay, so let's head back to the fireplace. And hopefully I don't get lost. Okay.
Okay. Ah, I think this is it. Cool. And if you notice, there was the crown. Um, you might have to rewind it to double check. That book is marked P for potions. And now we have to open these books. That book is marked G for, for gem lore. Not open, that but... That book is marked A for alchemy. <laughs> Pull them that out. That book is marked M for magic. That book is marked E for enchantment. That book is marked N for nature. And over here are some more books. That book is marked R for royalty. That book is marked O for opals. Peon? Nope. At least it's open. <laughs> ah, what's that? Oh, man. I guess this didn't fit Malcolm's head. Cool. This is way too big for my head. So we have an oversized crown. Okay. This is great. <laughs> great haul. This is great. These doors look important, um, but they're locked. So we have a key. Mm. Well, that did something, but they're still locked. But um, we still need something else, and this chandelier looks odd, but there doesn't seem to be anything to do with it. Okay, so let's go this way. Cool, so now we're in the kitchen, and... Uh, anything in here? Check out the stuff. Now that's a knife. And we can't get the knife, but I wouldn't dare drink anything from that. <laughs> it's like a mouse hole, but it doesn't seem to be. Looks like they're filled with dust. Anything? What a pig! But what we're looking for is actually this. This is a fancy poker. Obviously, an item of royalty. And the poker is actually the royal scepter. There is one other item right there. Um, it's hard to notice because you can't see it at all, but... Pretty tasty. I was getting hungry. It was a mutton leg, and you can eat it for a bone, which is one of the other pointless items in the game. Alright, well, I'm pretty much out of time, so I'm gonna just stop it for here, but, um, thanks for watching, and, uh, I'll see you very shortly.